All right, everyone, here we are once again for another episode of BMX React, where this time we're going to be taking a look at Jason N's section from the Heroes and Mad Men video. It's uploaded here to the Mid School BMX YouTube page. Just got uploaded in May of this year, has 440 views. It says Jason N's part from the Heroes and Mad Men video. There are some amazing tricks in this part. So that's not good enough for me. I want to learn a little bit more about this video. So I pulled it up on the BMX movie database. Awesome resource for finding videos like this and watching the sections from them or the full video. We're just learning more about a little bit of the details behind them. So it was made in 1998. 31 minutes long, it was a VHS from the US and a clothing company called Allied is who made it. So I don't know anything really about Allied other than it was a clothing company. So maybe somebody could fill me in on a little bit more details in the description or comments down below. The filmers for this were Thomas Wells, Dave Perrick and Jason Brown. So there's an intro, a Rob Tibbs part, a Josh Stricker part, Kevin Gentry, Aaron Huff, Jason Enns, Ron Kimler, that's sick, Ed Koenig, Ryan Puckett, Freddy Chulo, then Chad Kage and credits. So with that being said, I heard about one of the tricks that happens in here. I'm going to spoil it a little bit, but I'm excited to watch it again because I've seen this clip before. And if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, buckle up and get ready because it's a crazy one. Here we go. This little rock song coming into it with a big 270 over a hip, jumping the spine, X up double peg grinding, the six foot quarter, I assume. Nice ice pick on the rail. Big sub foof. That's a skinny ramp for that. Then another ice pick on the rail. Tabletop over the hip. Handrail, nice, this is already well-rounded. Big tail whip over that thing. This is 1998, remember that. Three to fakie over a channel is wild. Toothpick to bar on the quarter, 1998. Gap to Phoebes down the hubba. Nice oppo ice down that rail. Then the regular, er, op, regular first, then opposite second. 360 in that dirt jump. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, it's a manual in the street on a ledge. Okay, okay. Good manual. Jump with the spine again. Big ol' X up air. I like it. I like it. Tabletop air. Steezy. Gap to manual on the hubba. That's good. A little wall slap there. Coming back. Coming back to whip it the other way on probably a 50 pound bike. Ice grind. Oh, down there. That's pretty cool. That's a cool setup. Double peg down. Is he goofy footed? I don't know these things. Is he goofy footed? Nice little wall ride up to manual wall down. Fakey rocket ice pick. What the hell? That's insane. Nice switch foot rocket ice pick. Alley oop fakey double peg on the spine to dude. Filmer almost gets his fingers crushed. Tight little 360 in the not big of an area. Ding, 180 to go in the other way. This is really well-rounded. Nice truck over that. Big hip whip. Half bar, toothpick, half freaking bar. Gosh, and it wasn't even the last clip. Is that topside ice? Yeah, topside ice in the little window area. That's sweet. Nice little gap in the water fountain thingy. Oppo rail or regular rail. We don't know at this point. Maybe everything was the same because he didn't have opposite or regular. 180 pegs, 180. Using the right side pegs. Jeez. Over two, 360 half bar thingy mabobber that I have only ever seen Freaking Bobby Altizer do since this. Oh, we got ads to worry about. All right. We're going to have to go through this play by play and just look at and appreciate the madness because it is indeed madness. So here we go. 
X up grind on a big quarter is sweet in itself. So we've got that this is probably a regular ice, but we don't know yet. Then he foofs it the same direction. So we're assuming that was regular ice. Then opposite ice going back the other way. Tabletop hip. So normally if someone's jumping a hip like that, they're tabling the same way, like towards the top of the hip. So tabling like anti-table a little bit is pretty cool of an idea. So that would have been regular handrail down, I think. Tail whip, normal over that. Okay, makes sense. Nor okay, so I think that that is his direction there. Tooth to bar, perfectly. Gap to oppo, feeble. Did not catch that the first time. A regular ice pick down the rail there. Then the opposite ice pick down the rail. Okay, 316 a dirt jump. So well-rounded, man, even compared to like some stuff today. It's good to see that. I, I appreciate it. Street manual. Everybody loves a good street manual. What's he got here? Big X up air. Then we got the tabletop coming next. Tabes. Boom. Then gap to manual. Keep her moving here. What did he do? A whip. Whip over it. Ice. I just thought that was cool. It was creative. Opposite double peg down the rail. This is that wall up to manual wall. Fakey rocket. One footed rocket at that. Ice. What the hell? You don't even see people do fakey ice pick grinds on quarters very often, if you ever do. Fakey rocket ice. That's so wild. Getting in here, the regular but switch footed on the peg rocket ice. Nothing regular about that. Alley-oop over opposite fakey pegs. So does that make it opposite alley-oop? Because if it was regular alley-oop, he'd be going the other way. So it's oppo alley-oop over fakey oppo pegs. Jeez. Big 360 thread in the needle, then he 180s it the other way. Truck in that thing he whipped earlier, then a big hip whip, full whip on that one. Then the half bar toothpick, my goodness, to half bar. The only other person who has replicated this, to my knowledge, is Ryan Nyquist when it was called out for a challenge and he did it. Incredible. The top side ice that we see from two different angles. That was good too. The fountain clip thingy. Nice oppo rail there. Rail manual. Ice in the sub. Then 180 fakey pegs, 180. In the last clip. So he's just doing regular spin, opposite tooth, keep the bars there, X up, switching hands, end up with your bars backwards rolling out. Maddening. Then he does a tooth to half bar to end it. Jason ends is, was, is currently a superhero. So damn good. So much stuff in here that is just still crazy to this day. And it just goes to show that when you can watch a video, this is 25 years old. So literally there are people today who were not even alive that, oh my gosh, when this video came out, people who are like absolutely like pros in BMX today, there's a bunch of pros in BMX who weren't even thoughts at all yet when this came out and there's still like one or two people who have replicated a few of the trips in here it's amazing so i hope you enjoyed me watching this video for the first time i know i enjoyed watching it and uh, if you have any recommendations for things that i should react to that you might think i'd be this excited about leave them in the comments down below jason if you see this 
Come ride Ray's with me. I would love to ride a street spine with you. Nate Powell could come. Trevor watching. I mean, it'd just be a good time, man. Hollywood's here. Come on. Come visit us. Let's shred. Maybe do a podcast. And I appreciate your riding to this day. So thank you for watching, everyone. And hopefully we will see you next time for another BMX React video or tomorrow for another video in general. I appreciate it. And we'll see you there. Goodbye.